Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. In this video I will show you the Android app that allows you to create the Raspberry Pi SD card. What I mean by create it, it's, uh, it allows you to download certain uh, variations of Linux distros and then burn it or, or copy the files to SD card which then later you can use it to to basically that SD card can be used with your Raspberry Pi instead of this eliminates the PC and that's why the reason uh, I'm showing you this if you're a DeX user and you you decided to start tinkering with Raspberry Pi and this app will allow you to create the Raspberry Pi image SD card inside the DeX so you don't need to have a PC the app is called Raspi Card Imager and it's available on a Google Play Store for free. So if I go to Google Play Store and write Raspi SD uh, Card Imager, as you can see, uh, and we go 3.6 stars for this app. To be honest, uh, I'm a bit disappointed that people left 3.6 stars for this. Um, let's have a look. Crash when using noobs image and download crash when I'm trying to do. Well, I tried twice and it's not crashed at all. So um, I don't know why people uh, average uh, rating is 3.6. This is a bit weird for me. Anyway, so this is the the app. So if I open up, um, it's basically um, gives me an options which ones I want to use this option not going to be selected here you're going to see nothing here and the reason why um, because I already used this app to test it out and I successfully managed to get the Raspbian OS on my Raspberry Pi using this program so it works that's why SD card here is already pre-selected for me because it's using the previous SD card that I selected uh, previously and the serial number is 61646530 I use that uh, just to test it. Um, so how, how to use it? So basically, as you can see, there is no no unnecessary settings around here. Everything is, is basically quite simple, laid out and, and easy to understand. And obviously, because it's a design for smartphones, um, technically, you should on your phone, you should see something like this. But we are on a deck, so we're going to use the, um, the desktop environment option to to create the SD card. So here you go. If I click on the this button, basically I don't think that does anything, but if I click on here, it gives me option of what kind of OS I would like to download and install on my Raspberry Pi. So at the top, I have a Noobs Lite, which is basically allows you um, to install just a bare bone installation file on SD card, which then you can use on Raspberry Pi while it's connected to network to download rest of them. But if you can be bored waiting and downloading Raspberry Pi, you can basically start straight from here. As you can see, just enough of us for Kodi. Uh, this is for Pi 1, this is for Pi 2 and 3, Raspberry, Raspberry Lite. I can get Ubuntu Mate, um, Riscos. Uh, what else I can get here? Berry Boot, uh, Recall Box, which is the re like retro Pi, like a um, retro console sort of thing. So for this purpose, I'm actually going to use the, um, I don't know which one to use. Let's use, because it's going to have to download anyway. So uh, Kali Linux, okay, I don't want to really wait for one gigabyte. So what we're going to do, we're going to take Libre Elec for, and I, I, I own IBM Pi 3. So we're going to use this, so I'm going to click this. And this is now selected just to make sure that my SD card is correct, which I picked it up. If I click on that, it, it opens like a standard Android um, file manager. And in here, I need to choose this. This is my internal phone storage. This is three terabytes of external hard drive currently connected to my DeX. So I'm going to click on that and I'll click select. So I'm selecting this one and I just need to click right to SD card. And now it's going to give me an option. Do I want to download first and then write? Or do you, if you already have this downloaded, so you click just write SD card and the file needs to be in the same location where it was downloaded. So this app will detect and automatically will get that in. I'm just going to click download. And right now what's going to happen is basically this app will download the Libra Alec. Um, Pi 2 slash 3 version directly from internet for me. 
I don't need to go look for anywhere, uh, try to Google it, searching, etc. It's literally downloading this for me. So let's give a second or so. And as soon as it's finished, I'll come back. So this one is being downloaded. So I can see uh, it says write to SD card. So installation and download was successful. And I was asking me, do I want to write to SD card? I'm going to say, okay. And now what's going to happen, the app for me is basically extracting the archived file that is downloaded and moving all the files to the SD card for me. So right now everything's happening. Um, everything's happening basically app is doing everything for me um, image okay so that's it if I click okay and now basically the image file if I'm gonna use the total commander to get and check this out and I have here if I open up and this is all the files that required to start Librelec on my Raspberry Pi and this is how you create Raspberry Pi SD card images on the DeX this is, to be honest, was faster than I expected. Um, just because on the PC, obviously you need to go to a specific website to download the OS or Google it, you will need to find it. Then you need to download on your PC. You need another um, program to format SD card. Then you need another program to uh, burn it or move the files to SD card. Speaking about the format, um, Obviously, right now the SD card has these files or on it, and obviously I need to format it. I try to find a decent SD card formatter on the Google Play Store, but most of them are they're paid and ads, and it's, it's a big bunch of, of garbage. And I end up using CX File Manager, which is uh, I believe it's available for free or paid version. I can't remember it was a while ago when I got this one. So this is my SD. Uh, two terabytes so this one as you can see this is my the Raspberry Pi SD card so if I'll go back just to make sure that this is that if I right click and choose settings and there uh, as you can see is 147 megabytes occupied so if we're gonna choose format I'm gonna say format and right now CX file manager is formatting SD card for me click done and now it's 416 kilobytes left so now what I can do, I can go back to Raspberry, Raspberry, Raspberry Pi SD card creator and create myself a new version, a new file for, for me. And I just noticed there is, um, there is the uh, filtering at the top. Anyway, here you go. Raspberry Pi card imager available on Android. It works flawlessly on the DeX. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next one. Bye bye.